Well, we have a huge weekend coming. Lollapalooza is here. Today we have a storm threat, but looking ahead on Friday, it's going to feel like fall tomorrow. 67 degrees, windy and cool with a few leftover sprinkles. Saturday is the day. Mostly sunny, very pleasant, low humidity, 78. And on Sunday, a fine time in the beginning of the day and then about a 30% chance of a pop-up shower or storm. 76 on Sunday. Now, for our big storm threat that focuses mostly between 4 p.m. and midnight, and we could see torrential downpours, damaging winds and large hail with the strongest cells. We have so much humidity available. Those downpours, these will be slow moving storms. They're really going to create some heavy rainfall in localized areas. Then cloudy, windy and cooler tomorrow. Tomorrow will feel like fall. Watching dew points rise to 70 degrees in Gary. This is telling us it's feeling more humid, almost tropical in nature. Our current temperature is 70 here in Chicago, 67 Detroit, Columbus and Indianapolis. A lonely shower left in McHenry County, so maybe a spotty shower or storm through lunch. Main threat here over Iowa will be ours later today. And the Storm Prediction Center does focus on Chicago, perhaps for a slight risk that some of these storms could be severe. As we look at future casts through lunchtime, only an isolated chance. But watch what happens by 4 o'clock. Start building that heat and steam. We watch this system get closer. And by sunset, a squall line moving through the area. So for everybody that's headed out to Lollapalooza, we really have to think about that for the headliner bands tonight because those storms could be be very strong around sunset. So dinner time to sunset is going to be the height of this. Cold front passes tomorrow, 67 degrees. Usually when we have Lollapalooza, Derek, it's like 97 it degrees. Sure so is. tomorrow will be crazy. Yep. We are getting ready for uh, an eventful day weather-wise. Indeed. And between now and midnight, we can't rule out a shower or a storm. But I want to take that time frame and squish it down to the best time that we will see severe weather. And really, as we build the heat of the day, we're going to see those clouds start to tower. Here's a live look at Navy Pier. You know the city's going to be packed and busy all over the place this weekend, but we do want to watch for strong thunderstorm chances as we get into today's late day hours. In fact, for Lollapalooza, we're going to see building storms, especially late day. That temperature should reach about 83 degrees, but I'm expecting, especially after 4 o'clock, the height of this being somewhere around sunset, that 8 to 9 o'clock hour, because a strong cold front is going to be moving through. Now that cold front is going to be meeting this humid air that's sitting in place, so these slow moving storms could create torrential downpours. Also, damaging winds and large hail are possible with the strongest cells. Tomorrow, you won't believe how it's going to feel. It's going to feel like fall with temperatures in the 60s. Right now, I'm noticing dew point temperatures are rising into the 70s in some places. This picture, this snapshot tells us humidity levels are increasing. Add to that the sunshine that's out there too and the approaching cold front. All of this is just upping the instability factor. So when this front moves through, we could see those stronger storms late in the day. 82 degrees is where we stand right now. It's 74 in Des Moines, 82 in Detroit. So while we see a few pop up storms closer to home, this is our huge concern. It will cross the Quad Cities early this afternoon and then continue moving into this very unstable environment that we have in place. So looking at the thunder and lightning in Kankakee County, this is lifting into eastern Will County. Nothing severe with that, but there is a lot of lightning to watch for west of Aurora, Aurora as well. This is lifting into Batavia and into the Wayne neighborhood as well. Now the Storm Prediction Center is focusing on our area to perhaps have a slight risk of severe weather as we get into the heat of the afternoon and this evening. And that includes Milwaukee all the way down almost to Champaign and the Quad Cities as well. So looking at future cast, this is 1230. What we expect is those those couple of thunderstorms to move through some popping up here and there. But really, as we get into this cold front lining up during the sunset hour, that's probably the best chance when we would see those strong thunderstorms. So this is a picture at 830 tonight. Watch what happens by the time midnight rolls around. Still northwest Indiana getting some heavy storms, but things start drying out on the Illinois side. So the heat, the humidity, that's all adding to the storm threat. 85 degrees in Chicago today, 83 in Joliet, 82 in Kankakee. Then tonight, those evening storms could be strong, but after midnight, things really quiet down and the cool air comes rushing in. Look at this. 80s for us today with a lot of humidity and the late day storms. Tomorrow, only 67 with wraparound clouds and sprinkles. A northwest wind, it's going to feel like fall. And the weekend itself is cut in half. Sunshine Saturday, a pop up storm chance late day on Sunday. So, whatever you have planned outside today, just keep an eye to the sky because remember if you can hear the thunder you're close enough to be struck by the lightning so I hope everybody going to Lollapalooza knows where those weather um, you know coverage areas are underground. Right. I think they're doing a good job with signage but thank you so much for the reminder.